<laughs> Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're Mike. I'm Mike. What is your name? Furbu. Furbu. Very nice yeah. to meet you, Furbu. I'm visiting India. Where are you from? Uh, from US, Minnesota. Minnesota? What part of Minnesota are you from? Uh, Richville. Rich yeah. What, what, what is your kind name? Papan Baba. Papan Baba. Oh, my name is Mike. Mike. I'm, yeah. I'm a yoga teacher. A yoga teacher? How long have you been a yoga teacher for? More than 20 years. Have you? And I teach Hatha Yoga and I open chakras of the people. So we're now in the main part of McLeod Ganj. We'll have a walk along here. So you can just see some of the shops and some of the things that are available. Good morning, sir. It's a Buddhist temple with the t prayer wheels. This is a Mani prayer wheel. It's filled with thousands of Avalokit Shavra mantras. We're turning this wheel once one earns merit equal to the recitation of the mantras filled inside this wheel. Kindly turn it clockwise. That's something that I'm going to do. McLeod Ganj caters for obviously tourists and all nationalities. The food I've seen here for Sao is Korean, Italian, English, Indian, Tibetan, Nepalese. Israeli, all sorts of food. That gives you a chance to see the prices of an actual restaurant area. So a latte is 90 rupees, so 90p, or maybe 94, 95 cents maybe. A latte in England, in somewhere like that, would probably cost you at least £3.50. You can get an awful lot of fake goods here such as North Face jackets all sorts of designer brands the quality is pretty good they're obviously not the real thing but you can probably get one of the pack away North Face jackets that you can pack away into a suitcase for about £25 or about $30 in the UK I know they sell for a couple of hundred pounds You've a Liverpool football shirt. No West Ham shirt, unfortunately. Cashmere scarves, pashminas. Hello, sir. Maybe later. Just going for a walk at the moment. Tribal shawls. Thank you. Obviously sign of the swastika there. Nothing that most people relate the swastika to. Nazi Germany, it's um, an ancient Hindu symbol, which basically means, I think, peace and love. So that's the Skyway. I won't be going in there today. I will be going in there tomorrow. <coughs> and there is an ATM in McLeod Ganj. So you've got no issues if you need to draw cash.
Okay, so this is a first for me. I've got a, um, a latte with buffalo milk. So let's give this a go and see what this is like. Set the camera down. Tiny little bit bitter than cow's milk, tiny fraction, but it's really, really nice. Got a good vantage view where I am. It's actually right by the skyline. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy my buffalo's milk latte, and I'm going to go into the um, Dalai Lama monastery and complex there. So okay, so we've reached the Zulag Kang, and I apologise if I butchered that pronunciation monastery or Dalai Lama temple, home to His Holiness the Dalai Lama and a pilgrimage site for Buddhists around the world. The centre that I'm going to go and see in a moment trains monks for religious rituals and there's also a place in there for debate. It includes also the Tibet Museum which I'm going to have a look at as well. Okay so I haven't got my camera but it looks like I can have my phone out so I'll show what I can. Okay, that's a Buddhist, I think it's pronounced Tupa. It represents the stages to enlightenment.
Absolutely, just just that sauce, yeah. Just that. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, so my first try of Momo's. These ones are a little bit well done compared to what I've seen. But I will try others. Let's give them a go, see what they're like. Really tasty. Yeah, very, very good. So, vegetable momos, not sure what the sauce was. It was very hot, but it was also very, very good. Lots of places in the down to organise treks and trips from one to six days. They take you there, they guide you on the trek, and then they bring you back again, if that's your thing. Front line for the bus. That's a stunning place to stay. Got that for a view. Okay, so nice to meet you. What 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 is your kind name? Papa and Baba. Papa and Baba. Oh, my name is Mike. Mike. Yeah. I'm a yoga teacher. A yoga teacher. How long have you been a yoga teacher for? More than twenty years. Have you? And I teach hatha yoga, and I open chakras of the people. When the people are suffering with the problems, I can explain them how to open the chakras. Oh, okay. So some people are mentally tired, or somebody has a problem. Suppose example of you. Yeah. If I touch your finger, I can explain you too. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. And rest, my business is my painting. Okay. About the God. So in India, we have seven days. It's called one week. Yep. So Sunday is day of Kali. Monday, day of Shiva. Tuesday, day of Monkey God Hanuman. Wednesday, day of Vishnu. Yep. Thursday, day of uh, Durga. Friday, no day, because it's Muslim day. Yes, yeah, sure. Saturday, day of monkey got Hanuman. Oh, okay. And then rest, if we go with the color, with the God. So we have seven colors, like a blue color, is color of Shiva and Krishna. Yep. When you see paintings of Shiva, Shiva is always blue. Blue. Yeah. So Monday, we use blue color. Tuesday, you have to use orange color. Right. Thursday, you have to use white color because Saraswati is a god of education and traveling. Like if you want to play sitar or guitar. Relaxing. Saraswati. So that Wednesday. Thursday, day off again. I don't know how to say, explain you the color. It's not a Orange, but light. Okay, light orange, a light orange, yellow orange color. Yeah, yeah. Yellow orange. And then Friday, we use black color. Black color, okay. Because of Muslim. We yeah. are against of the Muslim. Sure. And then Saturday, we use orange. Sunday, again, black uh, color. Interesting. So this is the colors. Communication. Yeah. And, and you, you were saying, you were saying earlier about uh, Shiva and, and Hanuman and Ganesh. Yeah. So is, is, is um, Hanuman... The son of Shiva, or oh, not, not, no. not the son of Shiva. Ganesh is the son of Shiva. Yeah. Okay. Like only God ha in India, God Hanuman, every God had been born by stomach. But Hanuman had been born by air. Ah, yes. And woman cannot pray for him. I see. I see. So Hanuman, he had fight with the son. Ah, uh, when the sun came angry, he gave him orange color. Ah, I see. Orange represents the sun. Yeah. So, what about Ganesh then? So, Ganesh is of the elephant head. The elephant head. And can you just explain to me how uh, the, uh, why the elephant head? Because his father had been cut, Shiva. Yeah. 
After so, so, so Shiva killed, killed his son yeah. when he was away meditating? No, she was taking a shower. Ah, okay. When he entered in, his wife said, how you come? Then he said, somebody is there. Then she said, that's your son. Then she was crying. Then Shiva sent the people who sleep like this, cut his head. Then he said, okay. Yep. He didn't find. Yep. Then now in this world, her wife say, if he, you kill somebody, and my son is happy, but other people will be not happy. Yep. Because her family also cry. Yeah. Then Shiva said, okay, I will make meditation. Let me smoke. After that, I will find out. Then one word is live in the water. Yep. They have eyes here. Yeah. It's called frog. Yep. You have no head. Okay. It's like in Japan, we yeah. find many in yeah. the sea. Food, yeah. We can say. Yeah. So they have eyes here, but they have no head. Okay, so what a really lovely, interesting guy. Just sitting there, as you can see, on the side of the road. On the way up to the waterfall, just got chatting about his artwork. And then he started talking about his religion and one thing led to another. And that's, so that's the information, tells you a bit more about Hinduism. I learned some stuff I didn't already know. But I'm sure there's a lot more, a lot more to learn. A really lovely guy. He actually invited me to his family home tonight for dinner. Unfortunately, I can't do that because I'm meeting some people I met on the bus coming here in town for dinner tonight. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. I'm very well, thank you. I think these were some buildings damaged by the earthquake that took place here. This is the town of Bagshu. So that jumper is 300 rupees, which is three pounds. About three pounds, 25 US dollars. Shawls, 300 rupees. 100 ho. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? So very well, thank you. It's Ganesha. The man I'm just telling us about. Ganesha Shrine. Just seen a guy, so I can see it on the video, actually cycling across the river on a high wire. Thankfully, he's suspended. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's carry on. This is when I'm really pleased. I did something about improving my fitness before I came here. Hard going. <laughs> I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> this is a climb. Oh my word. <sighs> yeah, bro. I'm not really a YouTuber. I've started a YouTube channel. But um, yeah, I'm filming this for YouTube. Oh, gotcha. It's quite a new channel at the moment, so. Oh, what is the name of the channel? It's Mike's Travels. Mike's Travels. Yeah, so if you look at it in a few weeks' time. M I K E S. T R A V E L. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, and you'll be on it. You'll be famous across the world. Okay, I will. Climbing up to the waterfall. 
<laughs> Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're Mike. I'm Mike. What is your name? Furbo. Furbo. Very nice yeah. to meet you, Furbo. I'm visiting India. Where are you from? Uh, from US, Minnesota. Minnesota? What part of Minnesota are you from? Uh, Richville. Richville, okay. Yep. I've been to the US uh, quite a few times. I've not okay. been to Minnesota though. Okay. I've done the East Coast, part of the West Coast, okay. Nevada, Colorado. Ah, been to Hawaii. Beautiful places. Yeah, but I've not been not been to Minnesota yet. Minnesota is cold, isn't it? It, it is. You must be used to this cold weather in the mornings yes, then. Yes, I am. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I bet you are. Was you cold in your room last night? It was, but I didn't complain. I just No, you must be used to it. More used yeah. to it than I am. <laughs> yeah, I've got a heater tonight in my oh, in my room, okay. thankfully. So okay. Okay. And you're from UK, I believe. Yeah, I was born in London, but I now live in a um a county called Suffolk. Oh, it's about a hundred okay. miles from London now. Gotcha. Yeah. I visited UK in 2019 and I went to a village called Halton. It's beautiful. I've heard of it. I don't know where yeah. that is though. Yeah. Can't recall where that is, but mm. yeah, the, the UK again has, it hasn't maybe got the sights. I think our, our highest mountain ah. is only like 2000 meters, gotcha. but Ben Nevis in Scotland. Oh. But, um, so nothing on this scale, but there are some beautiful places. We've got the southwest, Cornwall and uh -huh. Dorset, Somerset. We've got the Highlands of Scotland. Gotcha. We've got the um, Greater Anglia area on the on the east coast. Uh -huh. There's lots of places in the Midlands and the North, which are, you know, country parks well, and like beautiful to towns to and cities. Here. Next time, you should I want to explore more. Yeah, please yeah. do. Nice to meet you, Mike. And you as well. Really Thank nice you. to meet you nice too. To meet you. Thank you. Bye. You take care. You too. Thank you. It was a good rest, actually. Oh, Talk to that lovely lady from the US. It's a shame it's not in full flow this time of year. It's been cascading right the way down there. Yeah? Hello. Sit and have a rest. Eat some walnuts that I bought earlier and begin the journey back down to McLeod Gunge. The great news is downhill all the way. Someone said to me once with my cycling that the reward for getting to the top of a hill is coming down the other side. And I guess that's the same for any type of physical activity, whether it be hiking, cycling, uphill running. It's always better coming down. Oh, well, not necessarily better, but easier. Yeah, you really enjoyed that. It took about 50 minutes to an hour to hike up to the waterfall. But it was very worthwhile. Okay, always fancy zip lining. Here's my chance in the Himalayas. Gonna put this on YouTube. Okay. Is it scary? <laughs> no, brother. Easy. Easy? Yeah. I hope so. My first time. First time? 
First time zip line. Where are you from? I'm from England. England? Oh, match seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damshala. Damshala. England already, um, India already won 3 1. Yeah. Okay, really tightened it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, thank you. camera Okay. Yeah. 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 I think I'm all set. Unlock your phone and come here. You can have another game. 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 Get on the side. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And go! Okay. Yeah! How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. What's your name? My name is Mike. What is your good name? Voice 40. Voice 40. Go. Easy, easy, bro. Easy. Hold it. Go up. Easy, bro. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from England, from London. Wow, London. Yeah, you from Macleod Ranch? Yeah, yeah. Very lovely place. So that was absolutely superb. Not sure if I did it properly, but I really enjoyed it anyway. Not something I envisaged doing. Hike into the waterfalls today, but really, really good. I will get to McLeod Gange soon, hopefully. I think that's it for McLeod Gange. Hopefully it's been an enjoyable and interesting video to watch. Please leave any comments in the underneath the description below. And if you've got any questions about McLeod Gange and the area, if you're thinking of coming here, please do feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to help, including the hotel that I stayed at, which I got through booking.com. Um, tomorrow is all about Durham Shala. And hopefully, if I can have time, I'll go to see the cricket ground. So thanks for watching, catch up on the next video.